हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फार्माकोलॉजी मेड इजी ओके सो आई हैव स्टार्टेड विद वेरियस लेक्चर ऑन ब्रोंकियल अस्थमा एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू कवर आवर लास्ट ड्रग इन दिस कैटेगरी ऑफ अस्थमा दैट इज अ मास सेल स्टेबलाइजर्स सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो प्लीज कीप वाचिंग माय वीडियोस एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल सो दैट यू विल गेट माय वीडियोस एट द अर्लीएस्ट so mast cell stabilizes this stabilizes the mast cells so first we will see the drugs then their actions doses and then their uses so the first drug in this mast cell stabilizers is sodium chromoglycate or it is also called as chromoline sodium and the second drug in this category is nidochromyl sodium both of these are chromon derivatives sodium chromoglycate and the nidochromyl sodium are chromon derivatives by their chemistry so these are non steroidal drugs they don't have steroidal properties and they are also non bronchodilator but they are preferred for prophylactic management of mild to moderate asthma as well as in some cases of severe asthma and especially in the seasonal asthma so first we will see the mechanism of action of this drug we have seen in the treatment approach that there is a antigen in the body and it will combine with antibody that is a ige antibody okay and then this antigen antibody complex it will bind on the surface of inflammatory cell that is a mast cells present in the respiratory mucosa okay with the help of receptor fcypsilon r1 on the mast surface of mast cell and there are the various granules which are stored in the mast cells and these granules are nothing but the inflammatory mediators like histamine leukotrienes and prostaglandin so the first mechanism of action is this drug they inhibit the degranulation of mast cells okay by any allergen or irritant stimuli like uh, cold air or some uh, allergen like the pollen grain or dust and because of which subsequent release of various inflammatory mediators will be inhibited so the first action is degranulation of degranulation of mast cells and subsequent release of inflammatory mediators like leukotriene histamine and prostaglandins will be inhibited it is said that this drug inhibit the transmembrane influx of calcium ion which is responsible for release of these granules outside the cell so they inhibit the influx of calcium ions in the mast cells because of which subsequent release of these inflammatory mediators will not occur the second thing which is important they can inhibit the bronchospasm in certain conditions when it is done by cold air or some allergen particle okay so they can prevent the bronchospasm but they will not antagonize the bronchoconstriction which has already been happened in the patient of acute asthma as well as in a patient of status asthmaticus okay so they will not antagonize the bronchoconstriction which has been happened either with leukotriene histamine or prostaglandin so they are ineffective in the treatment of acute asthma or status asthmaticus and this is also similar with leukotriene antagonist leukotriene antagonist also will not antagonize the bronchoconstriction which has already been happened देखो ब्रोंको कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अगर ऑलरेडी हो चुका है और पेशेंट एक्यूट अस्तमा में है तो मास सेल स्टेबिलाइजर्स भी यूजफुल नहीं है और ल्यूकोट्राइन एंटागोनिस्ट भी यूजफुल नहीं है लेकिन अगर नहीं हुआ है तो प्रोफाइलेक्टिक रोल इन दोनों का है ओके सो दिस इज देयर मैकेनिज्म ऑफ एक्शन नाउ कमिंग टू द फार्माकोकाइनेटिक्स ऑफ दिस मास सेल स्टेबिलाइजर दिस ड्रग आर नॉट गिवन बाय ओरल रूट बिकॉज दे आर हाईली आयोनाइज ड्रग and you know that for absorption through the oral route the drug should be in the unionized form so because of ionized form they are not given by oral route so how they are given they are given by inhalational route through meter dose inhaler generally one puff 
ऑफ मीटर डोज इनर कंटेन्स वन मिलीग्राम ऑफ दी सोडियम क्रोमोग्लाइकोलेट सो सच ऑफ टू पॉप्स कैन बी गिवन थ्री टू फोर टाइम्स डेली फॉर द प्रोफालेक्टिक ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ वेरियस asthma okay this drug can also be given as a rota inhaler or through the nebulizers but meter dose inhaler is the popular one the third drug in this category is ketotifen why i am mentioning is separate because it is not having a characteristic mass cell stabilizer property actually it has a anti histaminic property mainly but apart from that it also have a mass cell stabilization property okay and the advantage is that it can be given by oral route remember we have seen, uh, seen that this four both drugs they can be given only through the inhalational route through meter dose inhaler or nebulizer or rota inhaler but ketotifen which having a predominant antihistaminic activity and some mast cell stabilization activity because of which it can prevent the degradation of mast cells can be given by oral route now we will see the uses of this drug and the very important first what we are study is asthma okay so these drug have prophylactic role in long term management of asthma okay especially in a seasonal asthma and some patient of chronic asthma okay so you can see in other words these are the result drug in a seasonal and chronic asthma patient for prophylactic role and they can reduce the steroid requirement that is inhalational corticosteroid requirement and long acting beta 2 agonist requirement if they are uh, used in the proper doses the second because of their anti allergic mechanism somewhere by preventing the degradation they are useful in allergic rhinitis this is more or less similar with a leukotriene receptor antagonist in allergic rhinitis they are given as a nasal spray they are not given as a inhaler obviously in asthma so they are given by nasal spray so uh, it should be given uh, at least twice to thrice daily in each nostril in patients of allergic rhinitis okay and it has been said that they don't have a nasal decongestion property no nasal decongestion property but they can be given in addition or as a sole drug in the allergic rhinitis patient and third use of this mast cell stabilizer is allergic conjunctivitis okay in this another route which is there is a eye drops okay so in the form of eye drops this drug can be given in the allergic conjunctivitis so, so there are three uses in asthma mostly our prophylactic role in seasonal asthma yes seasonal asthma means before a particular season for example some patient have a asthma attack in winter so before starting the uh, before uh, they have a particular asthma attack in winter only and they are all right in uh, rainy season as well as summer season so in such a patients before 3 to 4 weeks before starting the season we can start taking the uh, meter dose inhaler of sodium chromoglycolate and once the season is over we can even continue this drug for one to two weeks so they can be useful in seasonal asthma and chronic asthma in addition to inhalational corticosteroid and long acting beta 2 agonist they can be useful as a third line drug allergic rhinitis by the nasal spray and allergic conjunctivitis i drops one popular brand name is fintal inhaler okay of sodium chromoglycate now coming to the ketotifen ketotifen can be given by oral route okay 1 to 2 mg bd is the usual dose and it is also preferred in a patient having multiple allergic disorder like perineal or allergic rhinitis allergic conjunctivitis or urticaria or food allergy so ketotifen is the only drug in this category which can be given by oral route in a patients with multiple allergy disorder and the last is adverse effects this drug have a very less adverse effect but in some patients the bronchospasm throat irritation and cough can occur especially if they are taking through the rota inhaler which is called as a dry powder inhaler bronchospasm throat irritation and 
cough if they are taking through the rota header while in some patients the wheezing or headache can appear so what is important in muscle stabilizers these are the drugs sodium chromoglycolate nidocromin sodium and ketotifen first two are given as a inhalational through the meter dose inhaler while the last one is you are having a predominantly antihistamine property it can be given as a oral route these drugs prevent the degranulation of muscles and subsequent release of various inflammatory mediators like leukotrienes histamine and prostaglandins will be prevented These drugs are useful in the treatment of asthma, especially prophylactic role in seasonal and chronic asthma, in allergic rhinitis by nasal spray, and in allergic conjunctivitis by eye drops, and very less adverse effects. Thank you, guys. Please subscribe to the channel.